Marvels used up their A-list characters, their B-listers, and the best available Chris list. But before the Fox reinforcements arrive, they're reaching way down deep to dig up one last obscure hero. Let's see, what's left in here? Big Bertha? Nah. Hell Cow? Put her in the maybe pile. Oh, oh, the guy with Egyptian magic. What's his name? White Batman? Ah. Uh, Moon Knight, yeah, that's the guy. Don't know who Moon Knight is? Neither does he. Oscar Isaac stars as three personalities fighting for control of the same hot bod. One is Stephen Grant, a modern-day Londoner with a vibe of a Dickensian street urchin. Only the worthiest would be allowed to pass through the field of reeds. Is he really gonna do the whole show like that? This is how I talk. Ooh. The other is Mark Spector, a mercenary with the same tragic past as Dewey Cox. <laughs> Wrong kid died. And their third is Khonshu, an ancient Egyptian god who enslaves the MCU's first Jewish superhero. So I guess old habits die hard? Together, they'll drive his body around like a hot little clown car in an Oscar Isaac vehicle built for one purpose, huge acting choices. Now that's a death face right there. That's what you call Oscar Isaac. Mwah. You'd think Oscar would stay away from Egyptian comic book stuff after the last time. Mm -hmm. But this Giza's headed back to Giza for more Egypt tropes than a scarab pointing to the hieroglyphics on a pharaoh sarcophagus, as Moon Knight must race to find the magic something or other with the help of his wife Layla, a woman who knew all about his superhero side. Some of the suit but nothing about his PTSD, family trauma, or the fact that he killed her dad. Classic Marvel couple. Together, they'll team up to defeat Jafartha Harrow, Ethan Hawke phoning it in as a villain with the power to be, like, super judgy. You're a vegan, right? Yeah. Yeah, so am I. No, not that judgy thing. The other one. The death one. I wish you could live to see the world we make. Are you ready for action? Moon Knight isn't. Because when danger strikes, he blacks out. No, 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 no. Ugh. 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 This reminds me of when Four Loco was still legal. Instead of fighting, watch as the street-level hero gets bogged down by nonsense worthy of an eternal. You'd be surprised how many intersectional planes of untethered consciousness exist. In a first half that's just bickering over who gets to be the main character. Give me the bodies. Give me the body. Give me the body, Mark! Give me the body. You give me the body and you piss off. And a second half that feels like a janky rush to make up for lost time. Your mind is violently vacillating between sense and nonsense. Culminating in a finale that's Marvel's third kaiju ending. And fourth, Hero meets alternative version of themselves ending in just this last year. Things just got out of hand. And I woke up here, and now I'm surrounded by variants of myself. Peter 1, Peter 2, Peter 2, Peter 3. Peter three. I mean, who says they're running out of ideas and the genre is eating itself? Me. I say that. So strap in for a series that may not have done justice to its amazing cast, may not have done justice to the subject matter of mental illness, and definitely didn't do justice to one of the coolest Marvel Comics characters ever. But the most hardcore MCU fans got what they were looking for. Someone trying to hide by wearing a plain baseball cap. Woo! Cap confirmed! Starring... On the moon night, I am Governor Bob's your uncle, Tyler Burden. Elyon Hubbard, The Cursed Wives Club, Angry Birdman, Deity at Law, Ten Points to Hippoglyph, Killer Croc. You think you own this body? <laughs> Republicans. It belongs to me. Don't do it, Mark. Stop me. And I'm talking to the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. One flew over the conchu's nest. Oh, so this is eternal paradise. It's nice, nice. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? Hey, Screen Junkies, before Disney Plus drops their next series about how an old wizard ended up living in a cave spying on a young boy, learn about his more civilized past in fandom's new video, The Evolution of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. 
that ain't no Etch-A-Sketch. This is one doodle that can't be undid home skillet. Amber, why you gotta poop the bed? Welcome to the next level. Please help. They won't let me out of this booth. I haven't seen the sun in days. 